Hello friends, this video on neat reproduction is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Development of the human embryo. Human embryo develops over a period of 9 months inside the mother's womb before it takes birth. So let us look in detail how the human embryo actually develops inside the mother's womb. So we will have a look at it step by step. So what happens by week one so when we say week one we are talking about the post fertilization period so 24 hours after the fertilization cleavage starts like what is the result of fertilization so as a result of fertil fertilization is nothing but fusion of the male and the female gamete that is fusion of the sperm and the ovum so as a result of that a single celled zygote is formed right so the first thing that will be formed is a single celled zygote so made up of only one cell so that would be formed right and what happens after that then repeated mitotic divisions take place very rapidly so as a result this single celled zygote gives rise to a two celled body then a four celled body eight celled body 16 celled body and so on so gradually a structure is formed which is known as blastocyst so from zygote after repeated division a blastocyst is formed and what is this blastocyst so the blastocyst has two layers, one outer layer and one inner cell. So this outer layer attaches this entire fetus to the endometrium, like in, inside the uterus. How does the fetus or the child gets attached to the uterus? Through this outer layer, which attaches itself to the endometrium, that is the uh, layer of the, the innermost layer of the uterus. And what happens to the inner cell? So basically, let me write it here. So the blastocyst has an outer layer and it also has an inner cell mass. So this outer layer attaches this entire thing to the endometrium of uterus and the inner cell later undergoes much more divisions to form the embryo. So that's how the entire process takes place. So let's see. So therefore implantation, so when we say implantation in uterus in 6 to 9 days after fertilization, so all of these mitotic divisions keep happening the first 6 to 9 days and implantation means that this entire structure gets attached to the uterus, attached to the endometrium of the uterus. So that's done by week 1. By week 2, ectoderm, endoderm and mesoderm develops. What are these? These are the three germ layers. So these layers, they are made up of cells which are capable of differentiating and that's how they divide and differentiate to form different tissues and different organs of the body so these three layers will form by week two so some, something like this so you see you started with a single cell zygote so this gradually uh, underwent mitotic divisions and it formed a blastocyst so if you see the blastocyst it gets attached to the a uterus that is to the endometrium of the uterus inner cell mass it forms various organs it undergo further divisions to form various organs you see the outer layer remains as it is but the inner cells they continue to differentiate to form these layers ectoderm endoderm mesoderm which in turn later differentiates to form various organs and later it forms the embryo now, when we say that these three layers give rise to different tissues and organs, for example, ectoderm, which is the outermost layer, this ectoderm forms the skin, glands, etc. Similarly, when you talk about the mesoderm, mesoderm gives rise to muscles, the connective tissues which help in movement of the embryo, even organs like heart and blood vessels. And finally, when you talk about the endoderm, it gives rise to the epithelium of various body parts. For example, epithelium of the mouth, epithelium of the tongue, epithelium of urinary bladder, gallbladder, liver, pancreas, etc. So in this fashion, these three layers gives rise to various tissues and organs. By week three, critical organs like brain and spinal cord start to develop. Week four, heart and blood vessels start to develop, umbilical cord also develops. Now, uh, for a woman who is pregnant, it is observed that she is often called by her doctor for repeated scans. 
So why does the doctor do this scan? Because in the scan, the doctor is able to see the fetus and the growth of the fetus. So, so this timely scan helps the doctor to see if the various parts or different organs are getting developed at the right time. So normally, a pregnant woman under go, goes through a scan by after an end of say 10 or 12 weeks. So at the end of 10 or 12 weeks, the doctor should be very clearly able to see the presence of brain, heart, blood vessels, spinal cord, etc. So these are the times when they start to develop. Now when I say week 3 brain start to develop, that doesn't mean that it develops completely. It just starts to develop and then it takes some time to you know kind of develop completely. Now what happens by week 5? So by week 5, the heart starts to beat and it also pumps blood. So basically the heart starts to function by week 5. Week 6, uh, body parts like eyes and ears start to develop. Week 7, hands, feet, mouth, tongue and face develop. Now, so when these parts develop, so do you think that these, the, these parts develop and they are capable of moving as well? Now, when you talk about movement, for that connective tissues need to develop because connective tissues facilitate the movement with the help of bones and joints and muscles. Week 12, sex organs, muscles, bones developed, fetus starts to move. So the moment you have the connective tissues, movement will start and a pregnant woman can actually feel the movement of the fetus inside her womb like uh, you would have I mean, if, if you have ever come across a woman who is pregnant she would often complain that towards the end of her pregnancy she would often say that the you know the baby kicks kicks her inside the tummy so how does she feel that that's because of the movement of the fetus so this movement will start only after week 12 by week 20 hair develops now hairs nails they start to grow so hair not only the hair on the head but also eyebrows eyelashes body hair all of these start to develop by week 20. by week 24 the eyelids opens the eyelids can open and close so that starts by week 24 and this week 24 is also the legal limit for abortion so it's like the legal limit so it's, it's like a maximum time uh, when a baby can be aborted so an abortion is not possible any any time beyond this period of time because in fact it is not advised at week 24 so if some if a baby has to be aborted it has to be aborted during the very initial weeks of pregnancy because the more delay it happens the more harmful it is for the female who is carrying the child but week 24 is like the legal limit for abortion Week 26, premature birth can happen because by week 26, as you have seen, that most of the vital organs and various body parts have already developed. So there are chances that because of some issue, the, there, there might be premature birth. But by week 26, if a baby is born, there are some chances of survival of the baby because if the baby is born, by any chance before week 26 there are no chances of its survival but by week 26 at least there are some chances for survival week 28 baby responds to touch so the response to stimuli also starts like if you touch the baby from outside like if you touch a pregnant woman's tummy so the baby would respond to the touch or if there is a loud music or some loud volume uh, in the surroundings the baby would again respond to the sound so the baby starts to respond by week 28 week 30 to 40 the baby is ready for birth so now like all the organs had already developed by before week 26 but these remaining weeks it took just to develop these organs even better so between any time a baby born between week 30 to week 40 the baby should be fine Right? So, and it is usually seen that the baby gradually uh, uh, aligns itself in such a way that it lies with its head down so that it becomes easy for the baby to come out of the mother's womb. So, this is the entire period of nine months when the development of the embryo takes place inside a human female's body. Thank you. 
Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.